On this week's lead out, replacement bus services, new letters and camouflage. The Tour de France may be a hive of tourism activity, but one team's taken things to a new level, trading in their team bus for a tourist bus. Yeah, the Tinkoff bus is normally the most easy to spot bus in the race, but you've gone for blue instead of yellow. What's happened? Yes, it's right. It used to be the easiest bus to see from a mile away, but unfortunately, uh, buses uh, break down, so our bus, uh, our Tinkoff bus broke down. Apparently, a very rare, a very particular piece of electronics inside the gearbox broke down and it has to be brought uh, from Germany. And how have the riders coped with this new bus? It doesn't have the same gadgets as your old one. Uh, with patience, you know, Bernard Hinault and uh, Eddie Merckx won uh, many Tour de France without those buses. So just a couple of days, it's, it's not going to hurt them. And have you come up with any ideas to get some Tinkoff branding on the side of this bus? I uh, call all uh, graffiti artists to come and uh, give us a hand. Maybe we can uh, do some creative graffiti on the bus. Maybe we paint the nine riders uh, until we get our think of bus. I'm not sure the rental company will be so happy. but <laughs> You never know, they get lots of uh, free advertising. Riders like to give fans behind-the-scenes access, and for Fortuneo Vital Concepts' Vegard Breen, that comes in the form of a daily newsletter. I wanted to update my followers and uh, friends in uh, that's following me and uh, give uh, my followers some insights and about all all the different things we actually experience when we are uh, riding a bike race like this. And I spotted on this one it says no bathroom incidents before meeting the fans today. Yeah. Can you <laughs> talk us through what that means? I was in the bus and uh, as usual I had to go to the uh, use the bathroom and. Uh, after 30 seconds or so, suddenly they start shouting my names outside, uh, outside it was really loud and uh, cheering and obviously I had to go out, but yeah, I, were, I, was, I was busy, so. <laughs> what are some of your, the fa your favorite anecdotes that you put on these newsletters? Have you got one that stands out? Uh, we start Tourmalet in a bunch and maybe in 20 position in the wheel of room and I hear he's telling his teammates, let's go. And I'm like, no, 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 no. No, not, not now, this is too early. It's still 150 to go or you know, 100 k to go to the finish. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, that, that wasn't my, uh, wasn't what I was hoping for. I was hoping he would say more like, okay, just, just the easy pace now and let the, guy, uh, let the guys go. go. But uh, apparently they had, uh, had a different plan yesterday and uh, for him it worked out really well. The Tour often has personalised equipment for its riders and Geoffrey Soup's bike is a case in point. Geoffrey, can you tell us about your bike that's behind you here? It's a new frame to come from Orbea and it's completely different to the previous generation. It's much lighter, they've improved a lot of aspects. It's a lot more lively, a lot more direct and the rear of the bike, notably the seat stay, is integrated completely differently and is now part of the rest of the frame. Can you tell us about the pattern? Aubert decided to do a camouflage paint job, a spy bike, so that it's very recognizable to the public and at the same time it conceals the frame's geometry so that all of it is hidden but also so that people can really see the frame and it makes them want to find out more about it.